It's that time of year again, and the American and Canadian service members up at NORAD, or the North American Aerospace Defense Command, are actively preparing to track Santa as he delivers gifts all throughout Christmas Eve night. Now, NORAD and the U.S. Air Force aren't just committed to tracking Santa, they're also committed to providing support if anything were to go wrong. Though to date, throughout 58 years of NORAD tracking Santa, He's never had a problem yet. Nonetheless, NORAD likes to be prepared, so just how big a challenge are they facing when it comes to tracking Santa as he distributes gifts all around the world in a single night? The truth is, a mighty big one. According to NORAD's estimates, Santa's sleigh takes off from the North Pole every year with about 60,000 tons of toys stashed inside his magical sack. Now that's a payload of about 120 million pounds, or around 1,700 B-52s worth. But more than the weight is the speed. According to the calculations of astrophysicist Linda Harton, the only way Santa could distribute gifts all around the world in a single night is if his sleigh is capable of achieving speeds as high as 650 miles per second. Now, in terms of Mach numbers, that's right around Mach 3000, which definitely leaves even the fastest man-made aircraft far behind. So how exactly does Santa pull off these incredible speeds, as well as taking off and landing vertically on rooftops around the world, all while carrying such an immense payload. Well, one research paper published in 1994 by Miguel Alcubierre may just answer that question. Now, at the time, Alcubierre was trying to mathematically devise a faster-than-light, or warp drive, system that you could use for spacecraft. But Santa could certainly use this technology for his sleigh. There's just one big problem. According to Alcubierre's calculations, the amount of energy you need to produce would be astronomical, something that no fat guy in a red suit could ever pull off, even with reindeer to help him. But in 2014, NASA's Harold White published a follow-on paper where he made modifications to Alcubierre's work to devise a warp drive that could work with significantly less power output. According to White's calculations, you could reduce the power output requirements by creating a ring-shaped craft and riding in a fuselage housed within that ring. Now, Santa's sleigh is obviously not shaped like a ring, but one could posit that Santa's reindeer, which clearly produce a great deal of electrical power, hence the glowing nose on Rudolph, could relay this electrical field via the reins that Santa uses to control both direction and velocity. Now, by running that reindeer power through the reins, through the sleigh, and down into the skis, below the sleigh, it's feasible that Santa may be producing such a high energy density field that he's giving the sleigh, the reindeer, and all 120,000 pounds of toys negative mass, or at least low enough mass to achieve incredible speeds and aerobatic maneuvers, all while eliminating inertia for those inside the bubble. In other words, Santa doesn't have to worry about blacking out under high G maneuvers. And that may just add up, because according to NORAD's Santa Tracker website, noradsanta.org, Santa's sleigh has only one primary defensive system, and that's the reindeer's antlers. Now, antlers alone may not seem like all that good a defensive measure, but when your reindeer can produce enough electrical energy to create a warp field, chances are good those antlers pack a mean punch. Nonetheless, American and Canadian forces are standing by to scramble fighters in case Santa does find himself in a jam. And if you or your kids want to keep tabs on Santa right alongside NORAD, you can by going to noradsanta.org or calling their hotline, which is 1-877-HI-NORAD or 1-877-4466723. Last year, their volunteer call center, made up of uniformed service members and volunteer civilians, fielded over 250,000 calls from all over the world in multiple languages, and chances are good they'll field a similar number this year. So if you don't feel like looking at a screen, but you still want to know how Santa's doing, feel free to give them a call.